Hey, what's going on guys? T-Rex here with another episode of Minecraft. This is episode 11 and today I'm going to be working on the farm a bit, getting the second layer done, put up a bit of wood and put the water in. But also, yeah, I knocked a piece of glass out there so actually be the first thing I'm going to put down. Now the second thing will be that I need to find out where to put holes in the dirt for the other stuff. Leave I have another piece of glass here. Here we go. And I've got one hole here. And okay, need okay, got that one already. All right, perfect. So I just need to get some glass and buckets of water. So yeah, I did the second floor. Unfortunately, uh, my thing didn't record so just a lot of hard work and nothing happened basically got bucket here and then got a bunch of seeds got some wheat and then what was I here for again ah right yes pieces of glass May go chop down some more trees because I'm gonna need a bunch of wood if I'm going to do the second floor here. And then I think give Pog the hoe I had for this, so we'll need make another one of those later also. Which don't know if I have the materials for that. Hope I do. I wish I could put torches on stuff. Unfortunately, until I get glowstone from the nether, I'm going to be lighting this place up by just putting them around the border. While I'm here, something I might as well do is put down the seeds. Because start growing as much food as we can and then by the time this is all done I should be done second floor up top and then with that we will have a lot of room to just grow food in general because well <laughs> food very important here in Minecraft but in the end every material has its uses it looks like I'm going to need a lot of stuff, a lot of seeds, and also you need more lily pads, because as Pog was saying, it's nice to have those so when you go to get seeds and stuff from wheat you've grown, you don't fall in the water, but I found it's most of the time now you kind of just bounce out of the lava, which interestingly enough, in the first game, it didn't really do that. But now, with them having improved a lot, well, <laughs> it's just getting better and better by the day. Also, it's nighttime, so I may want to just go sleep after I defeat the zombie. Have a bit of fish. And boom have an axe ready for when I need to go get those trees. Quickly get in the house, close the door behind me, and sleep the day away. And boom, I'm out and looking about for some trees. 
got two right here which is perfect hopefully they're not too tall ah uh, just a bit too tall glad that creeper blew up where it did not next to the house for once my did is I also took out the log I need to get up there so I'm going to just use the height of this tree that will reach the other tree Go high enough to get that piece of wood. High enough to get that piece of wood. Perfect. Now I will have extra bit of wood to use. Then me er hmm. May also need to get more sand for a bit of glass, but I have a feeling that will be something for next episode. Because right now, I'm just gonna be filling stuff in, putting up walls around it again. And again, maybe getting a bit of a bridge going out there. Just because <laughs> trying to jump in through a door I don't think would be the most fun. And there you had a prime example of how you can just kind of bounce out of the water. Don't fall in like that. Just kind of bounce out. Very interesting concept that they decide to put in later on. And, okay. Thank God that didn't fall on the crops. That would have taken a big chunk. And then that would have been a lot of work to put back. Because, well, in the end, yes, this game is a lot of hard work. But to have all that hard work undone is just a bit annoying. I'll have to go grab more food for my house eventually. Which not really looking forward to you, but is what it is. I can start putting down the foundations for the new walls. I'm gonna go up around here. I'd say I'm gonna make it four high this time. That way it's a lot easier. Bit more room to put some torches and stuff down. Maybe a bit of glowstone on the ceiling with this one too. There's one round doing this, so I will Definitely need to go out and cut down some more trees. Boink. Boink. Clap. There we go, there we go. And a bunch of wood to put down. another round of trees so I'm going to actually use this I'll mark that at four high so that remember how many blocks high I want that to go and then get this tree out of the way Might as well get some stuff on the outskirts on the hills 
down, make it a bit easier to see. Because apparently I'm just surrounded by a bunch of water and other stuff. so I'd say, if not more, but since I placed a bunch of logs around it too, looks makes it look like it was a bit more than what I used, and for this one, perfect, break logs, so we're at about half a stack, I'd say 40 should be enough for now. So that should make about 160 or so pieces. And yeah, about, yeah, 160 pieces. And I'll be back in a minute. And I'm back. And let us go put the rest of the wood up on this building. This again will be the second layer of the farm. I will get to plowing the lands later because right now this episode is all about building the second story and almost having it ready, which it almost is. Very interesting sound too for placing wood. Well, sounding kind of like a thudding sound. And yeah, good thing we got a 
tree right here. Take that. I'm actually going to make a. Uh, I don't even need a crafting table, but make one and place it right beside. That way, have one just in case. A bit far out from the house, and need a crafting table. And I failed at that. A bit of food. There we go. And make the bridge there. Again, I don't think I'm going to have enough. Just short by one piece. Ah, uh, you're kidding me. One piece is all it will take. Pick up this piece, please. Perfect. Jump up. And there we go. We have now the second layer to the farm. I'm going to dig a spot for a door. That way we can just get out of here perfect jump out Ooh. a few sticks and such Pick those up another piece of fish and then go sleep quickly And there we go. There is a view of the building. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoy playing this game and I have so much fun with it. And I am out. Peace. <sighs> another day, another video. It's time to end it. I've got a switch here, but that says do not press, which Obviously, I'm going to press, you guys know how I am. And apparently something behind me, I can't quite read that writing yet, but let's press that switch and see what happens. And what's this? Wow, a giant subscribe button. Let's turn around and... Wow, even fireworks to go along with it. This is just amazing. Now I wonder though, what does this button do? And of course, Pog always likes a bit of an explosive end to a video. And I may regret this. Uh, no guys, I may regret pressing the switch. But let's just go with the flow and oh my god, no lava. Okay, water, water, more lava. Okay, a slow demise, I guess. Or okay, uh, did I just hear TNT? Or oh my god, I was just thrown into there by some TNT. I guess Pog either wants me to just drown or oh, hey, so you're down here. Oh, you brought me a present. Well, thank you. It's a you very know, I nice can't present. The torch. <laughs> uh, well, it's time for me to just drown. It's the end of the world. <sighs> or some TNT that might help me. If only there wasn't water around to protect me. <laughs> Well, as you can see guys, Pog is trying to get me with TNT like he has done before. I think the water is going to get me first. So, 
Remember to always like, subscribe, it will not. have a good time. I'm out. Peace. Are you still alive? <laughs>